All right. 9.02. What time's the game? 10.15? We got lots of time. No. You guys like to... You it's guys are the I worst. I warm up and stuff. Yeah, you guys... Oh, I want to be there an hour before. I like before. to be there early. I, I do. I like 15 minutes before, five minutes. I show up dressed and it's yeah. like... It's fucking rock Two games of the season. We showed up and the ball was already being kicked and I wasn't even changed yet. You know what annoying I'm okay that is? with that. I hate when other people do it to us. I don't remember. <laughs> All right. Let's let's walk into the third topic, which will be the dad topic. Then we're looking at the time. And then we're looking at the time. If I can squeeze in mine, we'll go for mine. Let's not, though. Dad topic. Because mine, mine's less prepared. So no, I like well. your topic, but you're not prepared. Okay. I don't Make love to that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Post-editing, this is all get fixed. <laughs> um, so my dad topic is... Um, I'm on leave right now. Leave being like a vacation. Yeah, fuck uh, off. You're on vacation. <laughs> Don't act like you're on paternity leave already. I'm not. It's, it's, sorry. Okay. Leave it, is what the army calls it. Vacation, yes. Uh, leave from work. Okay. The topic's paternity leave. Right. I know. Jeez. Let me walk <laughs> it in there. Now, now you rustle his jimmies. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, Oh man, your house is full of noise. I just saw. I didn't too. ask for this. <laughs> like sensory I didn't ask overload for this. right now in your house. I didn't ask for this. Um, so what I'm saying is, right now, so I'm off for a total of four weeks during the holiday season, and it's been good. I go, I've gone to spend a lot of time with my kid, do a lot of good things, not as many as I should be doing, and my wife will attest to that. Like I should, I have to do some things around the house that I haven't gone around to, but I still have a solid week and a half. Leave bef- the to-do list in the comments below, Tom. Uh, um, before <laughs> I go back Florida, to work. Going to Florida, spending time with the kid. Yeah, yeah I, I went Did to Florida. with you? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, but so one of the things I am looking forward to, I think I'm the only one who, who's going to be doing this. I don't know about you, actually, is taking paternity leave. Um, so I'm going to be taking the last two months of, of the paternity leave. So May, all of May and all of June. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be the stay at home dad. I can't wait to see how this plays out. I'm not, not, I'm not hoping you fail or anything like that. I just, I think it's, it's not going to be easy. I bet he no, hasn't, I don't, I bet I, he I hasn't don't looked into a single piece of paperwork yet. Paperwork. I I you talked to I t- okay so my in the army we have, just talk to a guy we, yeah, yeah we just, just talk, talk to a guy, guy clerks administrative clerk that's a job in the army like there's a guy who looks after my headquarters where I work and I go hey listen I'm going paternity leave starting this day and he and, it's more and he does Tanya to do her paperwork done. and he takes care of everything I got a guy Tanya just got to go back to work that's the big thing yeah and yeah. I think as far I asked her I think as far as she's concerned she's literally just gonna call him and be like hey I'm coming back to work. Coming back early, so how how does that if if you happen to know because like I I, don't, I assume like our wives and stuff did the same when they went on maternity leave they had to tell their work how long they're going off for your work yeah. submits the paperwork most of it yes but you my wife had to say to my work you know we work at the same place I'm I'm off from June to June right so if she were to come back early she can come back early you, so your wife wanted to go back to work now she would just I think it's a two week notice. Yeah, two think, week or three week notice. Because then they have to fire the guy. They like that sucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. How, what is that? How does that? Because they have a contract. Like I, I don't know. What did they do for Tanya's position? Do they fill it for a year? Uh, yeah, they filled it. Yeah, and then they because fire the person early. No, well, so I no. got hired on a guy because the guy had paternity leave. Yeah, I'm still there ten years later. So. <laughs> yeah, so they, they just they figure it they out. They would yeah. move that guy probably for the remainder of his contract. Yeah, yeah they, they, they usually yeah. They, so I think I think in, in Tanya's case, her position. I don't know. I think it's been filled. Yeah. So if they bring her on, they're just gonna put her. They they can't, they can't. So the the details are they can't guarantee her the exact same position. Yeah. Uh, but it's of equal. Pay yeah, yeah, that's and that's every. Value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's like she hasn't made any sort of phone call yet, right? Pardon? She hasn't made any sort of phone call yet. No, no, no. no. We told ourselves like like we wouldn't worry about it until January, which is now. But even then, it's still a solid five months away. It wouldn't be start till. But are you are you in? Like this is happening, or is this still kind of in the talks? For well, you? one of the things that was like, I know uh, you said you start. One of the January. factors that we started with that we, we from day one was whether like Sebastian's development, like if if he was developing well, and if there's obviously if there's going to be if there's going to be issues, whatever that, that you know might require, I don't know, the mom to be there instead of the dad. Uh, then, then she would have taken the, the last two months. No, no problem. But I, so far, everything seems to be going pretty good. Uh, so there's no reason I couldn't take the last two months. Um, you know, I see the, the the trouble in in, in the path. Or the, it's just you sitting at home. But who say I'm yeah. sitting at home? The kid's eight months old, ten months old. We're going on adventures, dude. Yeah. The other day, I think it ta- might get also exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a I, I had an army buddy 
same same situation as me. Sergeant took paternity leave. His wife's a teacher. She went back early, and he's like, he's like, I had a routine. I would wake up, and he's like, his kid slept in like my kid does, right? Which is pretty sweet. Um, woke up, changed them, had breakfast, ate breakfast, and he's like, three days a week, I'd go to Von Mills and walk for two hours, which is what Tanya does anyways. Also, Tanya doesn't stay home every day either. She's she has swim classes with. The super wives she has two fitness classes a week she does with some of the super wives yeah. um she has these play dates she goes to like they're very active the kids kids are on the road every day more or less right so she's not a homebody and i don't anticipate being too much of a homebody either i like going especially with may may june it's kind of the if it was like january february it'd be like bah. but may june weather's well, gonna be nicer the two dogs i love going on adventures with those guys so you're gonna be bringing the kids to his like play date things yeah, I'll, 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 I mean, if anyone, it'll be, it'll be a little weird. I understand yeah, that because, because like Steph will still be on yeah. maternity. Yeah, so like I could come here and hang out with Steph and, and play with Mia, um, Malaya or Angela and Mia. Like, you know what I mean? I could, I could do that and maybe I will bring the kids to play and hang out. Cause I mean, at that point they're like maybe actually playing. Yeah. I don't know. A little bit. Um, maybe. so maybe I'll do some of the stuff like that. I will go to the malls and walk. Um, I, I definitely, definitely are going to be going out to the parks, and realistically, it's two months, man. I feel like that's going to fly, yeah. fly by. I, and I, Tanya's schedule isn't nine to, Monday to Friday nine to five. It's it's retail hours, right? So um, those she's going to have uh, one to nine shifts, evening shifts, uh, and she's going to have weekend shifts, right? So one to nine shifts, the morning, like she'll take care of the morning routine. You know, she'll leave work home at noon and, uh, you know. I think she's going to get you to do the morning routine while she gets to sleep in. Yeah. You're off for two months doing dick all. Yeah, you're going to be doing everything. You're going to be doing the morning routine. Yeah, yeah okay. So, okay, that was an example. Yeah, so the point is I'm going to be, like, taking lead here with, with the baby's routine. Um, so, it, I don't I don't see these two weeks as vacation. Two months. Two months, sorry, as vacation. I see them as an opportunity work. To, as work, yeah. as an opportunity to bond with the kid and actually do things. Because, like, my work, I travel a lot, and, I, and I'm and i not, I, I don't sometimes get as much bonding uh, as, as I wish I could. This will be an opportunity to do that. Two months of committed day-to-day yeah. with the kid, um, you know, because who knows, maybe a year from now, I might be gone away for a year or eight months for work and stuff like that right so one of your french trips no a tour i i i, I still he's going to molly yeah i'm not going to molly as of yet but it's to be something i'd be interested in doing right so that that's that'd take me away for almost a year eight months to a year i wonder if it I, came down to it like go or not go like the final decision if you'd actually go i don't know it it, it all depends when and what happens if tanya's pregnant again how far along is she um you know how are the kids doing is he doing great is he having trouble adjusting to daycare there's so many factors that would determine whether i say my final yes or no you can make one of those cool videos that you like show up at your kids like rehearsal coming back from tour after a year yeah That'd be so cool i'll film it up on youtube yeah man depends how early you leave you yeah. might not remember who the fuck you are by the time <laughs> you come back. yeah um but i'm looking forward to it. i think it's gonna be good i think given that it's may june i, I think i'm gonna make the best of it uh i think i'm gonna i'm gonna you know and and like you 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 have these peaks where you go you get really busy and you go you go dark right, but then you have these not busy periods where you're literally doing nothing. I, I didn't have a I didn't have a paternity leave, but I was home quite a bit. Right, um, right. But yeah, it was good. It was right. So, but, but what Vanessa I'm trying to say, took lead and all that. Though. But what I'm saying is, like, I'd be like, hey, Jamie, are you working today? No, I'll come over, hang out, just watch. TV with my kid the kid in daycare. But yeah, yeah. come over. But. <laughs> yeah, my kid won't be though. But, but I'll just bring my kid yeah. and just hang out. See, I can you know see I mean? it because like the port gives us pretty good benefits for paternity leave. But with my shift, it's like if Danielle goes back to work and I'm off, there's not real change, any benefit of us. One it. of the main benefits for us is that when I go on paternity leave, I get uh, almost I get 93 percent of my pay. Yeah, I get 85. Every yeah. time he says it, I hear 97. And next time, it's no, it's always 94. 93. <laughs> it's never. I always say it was 100. That's the first time you said 93. 97 last time. No, 93. Actually, yeah. he's gonna be 75. Yeah, yeah. 93 percent. I talked to a guy at the army. The guy I talked to is only <laughs> the 64. Clerk, was yeah. it real or fake? 
Yeah. Oh, we, we don't make that joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You already made it once or twice. Yeah, or like, so we can do it twice. Okay, good, thanks. We, I think there's an episode we did it 18 times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 93% <laughs> of my pay. <laughs> so it'd be more or less like making a, a few bucks less, but time going back to work is like doubling her income or more. Yeah, it'd be nice to get the double incomes back. You know what I mean? So that's going to be huge. Um, that's not, again, we're doing just fine now. It is a factor in the decision making process, but I, I don't say it's the sole decision by no means from day one. I said, I'd want to, I'd want to take some time with the kid and hang out and do cool adventures. I'm hoping my kid so far is pretty cool. I hope he continues to be cool. And he's like, not a whiny little brat, but I hope like, you know, take him out to like Yorkdale and you know, have him do stuff and things. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Your but definition for me, your definition of, a, of an adventure right now is going to a mall. For me, that's not an adventure. But like, okay, like, right I'm, now, I'm that's what for, I would do. I'm looking forward to the two and three year old where we can go camping or portaging or something like that. I'm, yeah. those, that's my adventure. But I, I, like, I took my kid the Tuesday, was it the Tuesday that the girls all got together for brunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I put my kid in a snowsuit, put him in his thing. It was freezing cold and I got my dog and I went to the park and I, walked 100 meters and i couldn't walk any further because it was snowed in but i i did it like i went out you know and that's the type of stuff i see myself doing yeah. once a day going out doing stuff and with the dogs I, like I, I i do that anyways or even going downtown if it's a nice day drive downtown and then just i used to do that with my buddy and his dog or two dogs walk around i would just do the same thing but now with baby stroller well, and the thing is, Seb's, like you said, Tanya's active almost daily and stuff. So I think Seb's already kind of used to that. Exactly. And it's he like, loves car rides. Like, he same, loves going out. Same with Leia is, is I, I think there's like one day a week where Steph probably doesn't do anything. Yeah. Exactly. So I kind of want to continue that approach yeah. and, and do that stuff. And well, you're not factoring in though is on your adventures, you have to think about carrying diapers, food for them. I've already figured out, I'm, I'm, I've been actively looking for a good diaper bag. We got a backpack. Backpacks are great. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm, it's all this whole thing. I have a current backpack that I've had for like six, seven years. Nike backpack, no brand loyalty there, but it's a great backpack. I think I'm going to transform that into my diaper bag and then replace that backpack with a new okay, that makes cool sense. backpack. Like, I, I have like a backpack I go to work every day. Yeah. It has all my stuff, my things. I'm going to replace that backpack and use the current one for my diaper bag. Anyways. All the power to you. I couldn't even fathom taking two dogs and a kid out downtown somewhere like that. One dog. I don't take Tyler anywhere. She oh, sucks. Uh, Steph and I talked about like paternity leave as a potential, and that was that was early on, either after Leah was born or like during while well, while well, she was still pregnant, I think. Um, about like, uh, do we want to paternity? Because again, you uh, you guys kind of know Steph. I mean, she's she's definitely not homebody. She was already counting the days or weeks back to getting back into sports, you know. And she likes her work. She likes to keep busy. So it was a very real conversation, kind of at the beginning of like, uh, I think you need to take pat leave. Right, because like she would want to go back as soon as possible and stuff like that, but now it's the opposite. She wants to take almost an extra six weeks, uh, using some vacation and just some some unpaid time if if she has to, um, just to just to stay until about home until about July or August, like early August. So that way, she a she enjoys a bit more of the summer, um, and and stuff like that. So like now, I think even if I want it, I mean, it'd have to be probably a very real conversation, but like. I also part part of me kind of feels like it's just like I th- I don't want to say they earned it because they're not really on vacation, but like no, that's what they, I'm saying. it's yeah. not vacation. They, it's put not in, they put in this like nine months of pregnancy. They you know Give them the year, I understand it's the bond and the first six months has to be there. Like you can't take yeah, pat leave in the first six months. I would say right or you know so obviously after that you know it's just like they they got their bond going and that's the thing. It'd be nice if there was better paternity laws or availability like it'd be nice to have both parents off if it was possible but only one can take it right like there's yeah. laws that don't let you do that so um i wish there was a way because i just had a whole week off with leah during the holidays and again that was probably the first time i was off since she was born like more than just a weekend um so that was awesome it was just like i'm home i then again i'm not if y'all watch the morning routine episode i'm a morning guy anyways so i was just like i was up and now she eats solid so i was like all right like getting into it you know prepping her food doing the solid thing changing her getting her ready kind of for the day and then we just lounge around it'd be like 8 30 in the morning and like i like that just turn on tv so there was premier league soccer like every day oh, yeah. during the holidays i love about that they were, they were yeah, yeah right through the holidays so Great. i was just like watching soccer with her every morning um and like that stuff was cool and like we kept a little busy it was the holidays so kind of limited and going out sometimes but um yeah i would definitely like i would take like i would i would 
like to think I could take six months if it was possible. Blah blah blah. Um, no, that's the compromise. The comp- that's right. Six months would be good, but the, in, my, in our situation, like I, when we you got first it financially brought, good. Though. What what we when we first brought up the topic was like uh, half and half, and then it was like a full stop. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 And I and I respect that because I'm like upon thinking about it, you know, time 100 percent still needs to be there right yeah. now. But the compromise was taking the last two months. The kid's development is going to be more advanced. You know, he'll be eating. Like, yeah, you don't solids. want to go in six months because yeah. six months you introduce solids, and then it's just like yeah, it's a little tricky. So, so anyways, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be you know, it's it's going to be an adventure for sure. But I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be good. Um, we'll see. So you're you're not taking any. I uh, I don't think I am. No. Anything else pretty much said no, not happening. <laughs> there's no other option. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, but I'm pretty stoked. I'd like to, but it, there's no real, like I said, there's no real benefit in me doing it. Like, yeah, like her, she'd go back to work, so she'd get her salary. Then I get topped up to 85%. But at the end of the day, it's not really that much of a difference. Yeah, again, the, the, the money the money is, is there. Yeah, the money is definitely a factor. It's two months of basically going back to double income uh, for us. But, um, Again, I'll, I'll be admitting it. I'm for selfish reasons. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Like I, I'm looking forward to going out with the kid and doing stuff. Yeah. See, for me, with my time off, like I'm home every day with him, either in the morning or at night yeah. for like hours. So yeah. Or like Vince. Vince has like Tuesday, Wednesdays off yeah. during the week or stuff like that. You, you know what I mean? Hey, who's off? Like back like degenerate days, but degenerate days with kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like legit Yorkdale lunches. Yeah, yeah Yorkdale lunches. Um, hanging out, watching a movie. You I'll know, put my kid out of daycare for a couple times for you. Breakfast That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's just it's the equivalent of me taking two twenty dollar bills and just lighting them on fire. Yeah. You know what? Also, a kid is is like taking hundreds of thousands of dollars and lighting it on fire. That's what having a kid is. Yeah, well, that's our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, don't, don't have kids. Yeah, don't don't have kids. Um, sorry, just before we we end, I think it was just the other day. One of those like awesome Nordic countries, you know, top three countries, you know, Finland, Sweden, Sweden Norway, yeah. all the best countries in the world. Scandinavia, yeah, Scandinavia, for. Syria. Also Nordic. Can you refer to them as Nordic yeah, I think countries? Nordic. Um, no. Yeah, let I us know Nordic countries. Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. Yeah. We get zero <laughs> listeners from that part yeah. of the world, by the way. Um, I think I, I think it was Sweden or Norway. Uh, they like seriously did something or it's been ongoing. Obviously, like pat leave is like a legit thing. Like, I think you get up to eighty percent of your pay by default. Okay. And oh, I was just reading, you know, those stupid YouTube videos someone shares, and you just end up watching yeah. it. Th- those countries are in, in that aspect the next level, so advanced. Like, I think it's Finland where every mother, upon having a kid, gets a care package from the government. With it's like, your first baby bed, they literally go yeah, home baby a, bed, it, diapers, oh, everything, like a couple thousand dollars worth of shit, free. Every baby from the government gone. Then, there's then, another, not paternity leave related, but there's another initiative that they've just implemented it's a pilot program I think it's for one year that if you're homeless you all gotta do is go in apply and you get uh, I think five six hundred dollars a month no questions asked is that like you our basic to, income you don't have to check yeah it's basic income every person's entitled to a basic income you don't have to check in you don't have to explain yourself you don't have to show that you're looking for work if you're homeless you go you, you just sign up for it and you get a six hundred dollar monthly allowance period so insane <laughs> and then you look at our southerly labor neighbor worse they're right yeah. up on there with like Afghanistan and yeah. Like I think I think there's like there's always I've always seen like on Reddit or something like that. There's like list of countries that do not provide mandatory paternity leave or like you know no, they don't even get maternity then, leave barely. Oh, maternity leave. Yeah, sorry, six that's weeks. Like, that's it. Six and it was like Sierra Leone, some country that I've never heard of. Antarctica and <laughs> and United States of America. They're like that's the crazy. only three countries in the world that do not have like a... It's probably the same countries still use whatever like metric imperial system, <laughs> yeah. you know, like... Yeah. Fuck those guys. Uh, that don't have a like a, a mandatory or like a Sorry, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Nick or Jesus. Um, maternity. Like it's insane. The crazy thing is they could cut like 0.4% of their military budget and cover that, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I think when... Uh, we were born like our parents. I think oh, my mom said it was six months, eight months. It wasn't wow. a year wasn't when a year. we were born. No, it wasn't a year. Um, so whatever it's obviously happened, increased. whatever happened to the eighteen month thing that was going around. I thought some of your wives. Oh were yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was Did looking to get on the hat bandwagon. So what Did would you do with that? With that? I, I, don't know. I, I went, went so 
when when Sebastian was born or when when Tanya was pregnant, there was talks of that eighteen month stuff, and I was being like, "I'll take f- six months. Imagine that Tanya was like a full year, and then instead of daycare, right? Just assume. I told Tanya like, assume that you have one year, like you do now. A one year instead of daycare, me for six months. Wicked, wicked. Uh, but it hasn't been implemented. It hasn't been implemented yeah. yet. It's, but there was a caveat. It's not like you. You wouldn't you wouldn't get like your continued pay. It's either something like it go, the sa- last six months would be unpaid, but you are guaranteed your Continue. position. It's not like I, I think something about the money. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm just hoping my job would top me up, and then I'd be good to go. Yeah. Anyways, we need more more pat leave. So if Justin Trudeau is listening, he's which, following you guys. He might. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if I talk into two microphones? So uh, <laughs> quickly, let's go back to that one really quickly because I, I I know we want to wrap Jamie's up. Jamie's losing; you, he's yeah. losing but, his uh, mind since topic I know. two. But <laughs> eight, eighteen months. If you okay, so if is same situation now, eighteen months instead of twelve. I could keep talking about this forever. So. Okay, would would you take any? Like, or, or would if it make I had no, a normal job, yeah. No, 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 no. No, I can't take you. pat leave. I have, yeah, I have, how does that work? For I you? can't. I do, there doesn't. He's I, self-employed. I have my, oh, I'm yeah. self-employed. I have my clients. So ex nay on the Jamie. If it was six, 18 months, would you take any? Uh, would you like? Would you bring up the conversation? Yeah, that was the decision. Especially, not yours. It's, yeah, <laughs> especially if it, if 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 you could, even if it was the sixty percent salary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was zero percent salary. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, because yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, but if if, if it as was, it is right now, if if paternity leave could be done for six months from the from year to eighteen months, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you would you would consider it. Yeah, same thing. I would. Probably push for it pretty hard. Yeah. Like I, yeah, I, yeah, I, w- I would want it, and then yeah. it would be a conversation of. That'd be a golden time too with your kid. 12, 12 to eighteen months. It's also because cr- now Link's awesome. Yeah, but it think, but he's crawling and and running and walking everywhere. Now it's just that, it like right now it's sweet. I can like plop her down. Yeah, and it's like oh uh, now I, I imagine can't do it. a year. Okay, especially you and and me, both having summer babies, one year old. Going, let's go to the park. Let's go to a green field. Can you come to Mississauga? Stand in the middle and just go, like a leash free park go. for kids. <laughs> yeah. Go and just like have him and run. Just the park. Yeah, and, and have just him the run park. in the grass. You know what I mean? How cool would that be? You guys can sit down and have a lovely lunch together. Yeah. Sandwich sandwiches and everything. You know what I mean? Like that that is to me it would be so awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know if by ten months he'll be walking, it'd be cool if he was. Maybe but. by by kid two, Trudeau will, will get his shit together after he's done legalizing weed. Priorities, right? Yeah, yeah. Get which is all good. I'm all for that. But you know, maybe by kid two, if we time that up, all months. of us perfectly. Oh w- shit! Wine tour, wine tour, wine tour. Everyone gets pregnant in the wine tour this summer. April. April. <laughs> We're gonna bump it to like May or June. It's April, man. You don't want to wine tour on a bike in April. No, but that's when we're gonna try. Like well, this is fun. Yeah, maybe right. if you don't get pregnant right away, you can come to the wine tour and try that. <laughs> I'm. I, I I I mastered the technique. <laughs> <laughs> one shot, that's it. You mastered it. Yeah, Vince gave me the one tip I needed, and I sorted it out. What is that tip? Tune in for next week's episode <laughs> to find out what that tip is. No, seriously, I don't know. He said it before. We can't say it on air. It's too, it's too R-rated. Look, can I know? I haven't heard it yet. Tell you later, man. Tell you later. Once the cameras are done rolling, ladies and gentlemen, that's been another episode. Yeah, it's 925. Yeah, that's been another episode of the Dads and Six Podcast, episode number 17. I'm one of your hosts. He's the worst. Like, he's the worst. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like, his ADD is so intense. I Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, like, I don't we're get it. We're just sitting here talking. Like, we're not even... Is, you always have to do you something. You always have to poop. Something. Last week, you had to poop, too. Like, can you take the mic to the bathroom with you? <laughs> it might be. It might be. Follow us on all social medias, blah, blah, blah. We're a weekly. I always butcher these outros. But Frankie. Thanks for coming. No problem. Shake his hand. (laughs) (laughs) Jamie. Thanks for coming out. Welcome back anytime. All the super friends have been here now. Cheer on on BBC FC. We're playing playoffs in an hour. It's our first playoff game. So if we're back next week, it's because we won. (laughs) Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Love you.